Hey everyone, welcome back to Andy Demos. You just witnessed the EP5 Geckoplex from my friend down in Eugene, Oregon, Gecko Pedals. This one is a long time in the making and I'm excited to show you what it's all about. Have you ever thought what the original tape echo designers would have built if they'd access to today's technology? Well, with a background in mechanical and electrical engineering, Riley at Gecko Pedals went on a quest for years to answer this very question. Nearing its beta test stage and knowing my love for tape echoes, Riley asked me to give it a quick test. Fast forward a few months and we'd gone over numerous revisions here in Portland and not only compared it directly to my newly overhauled Echoplex, but talked about new features to make this tape echo experience completely original. The Geckoplex starts with an all analog, always on preamp, not based on any previous model, providing extra boost and grit up to 11 decibels, but mainly for matching the Geckoplex to any instrument from stringed to synth. The Geckoplex has a delay time slider that moves a virtual tape head along the path, all with the same quirks and time warping effects, but with a much broader range up to two seconds. Plus, a high-quality motorized fader changes its position automatically when using tap tempo with subdivisions, expression pedal control, or when you cycle between its three onboard presets. I still remember Riley saying how he wrote this new code to mimic when a tape head gets dirty, and this was added to the warp feature. This knob starts with a perfect clean reproduction, increases tape-like modulation and warmth, and maxes at a heavily twisted repeat with near random fluctuations. The shift control is a unique feature that changes the delay time either up or down in various depths as the note is played, like a tape echo desperately in need of service. The tone control for the repeats is neutral in the center and behaves like a tilt EQ, brightening up for classic EP style repeats or darker space-like echoes when backed off. Of course, self-oscillation is possible with high repeat levels or by holding the tap switch, which gracefully transitions in and out of a state of saturation. The delay time then feeds into a post-effects chamber reverb with its own level control, and this can be heard fading out along with the repeats when trails are enabled or changed on the fly like all the other parameters with an expression pedal. The icing on the cake is the sound on sound feature or looper. This mode gives you up to 40 seconds of loop time while still allowing delay effects. Just like a reel-to-reel, -reel, you can reverse the playback speed, slow down, or speed up on any layer and play over it, thanks to the toggle switches changing their roles in the sound-on-sound -sound mode. The EP5 Geckoplex is made one at a time by hand in Eugene, Oregon, using overbuilt processors, high-quality components like Wima caps, and is adorned with a tough epoxy screen print in the style of the machine that inspired this all. Let's just start simple without any reverb or tape warp and I want to show you the core delay sounds starting with the tone in the center and then I'll warm things up and also increase the treble which is my personal favorite. It's like a classic Echoplex where the bottom kind of drops out and it gets brighter and brighter as the repeats carry out. Now let's introduce a little bit of tape modulation and drag with the shift and warp controls. I'm going to stay on a brighter tone setting so you can really hear what's happening in these repeats.
All right, so let's get a bit more grit. I've dialed in a bit more gain on the EP5, and I'll have a little bit of overdrive into it with the Schnobel Daily Driver. And this is one of my favorite slapback echo tones, so I've saved it to preset one, but the dials are exactly where I've just saved them. <laughs> And the cool thing about this pedal is that you can always add a little bit of reverb at the end of the signal chain. And a little goes a long way here, so about a quarter of the way is my favorite setting. If you have something really spaced out with a lot more reverb, you could still take advantage of the tails function and turn it off and on and have those reverb tails and delay trails continue after you bypass the pedal. <laughs> A feature which I find really helpful is the fact that you can arm or disarm the tap tempo even when you're getting into your presets. It's a cool way to you know, stay with the same tempo across all of three of your sounds, but everything else changes. So like the warp and the tone changes and even the levels. So let's start with the three different preset times I have and then arm the tap tempo and see what happens. <coughs>
and you've seen the power of this pedal even without an expression pedal plugged in. You could get self-oscillation by holding the tap switch and change the delay time with either tap tempo or different presets. Now, speaking of presets, when the expression pedal is plugged in, you get two different settings, and that's you know everything from level to tone and even the amount of feedback. So let's use uh, the expression pedal to get kind of a classic space echo, you know, UFO oscillation just by changing the heel and toe settings. <laughs> And of course, I didn't forget about the looper mode. And here, the expression pedal plays an important role of controlling the overall loop volume. So if you have a lot of layers, you could back off the overall volume and still play over it uh, with a lot of clarity. There you go, the EP5 Gecko Plex from Gecko Pedals. It was certainly an honor to work with Riley on this one, and I hope to do that sort of thing more in the future with other companies. So be sure to check out Gecko Pedals for more info on this epic creation, and I'll see you for the next Andy demo. <laughs>